lunch, Larry. What's for the ah? Oh, I, I just got trampled. Oh, oh. What's for lunch? On Monday, popcorn chicken with grilled cheese, and Tuesday, nacho grande and corn dog. That's why you never record during the turkey trot race. Hey, it's your birthday. Hey, it's your day. Hey, it's your birthday, so let us celebrate. Hey, it's your birthday. Hey, it's your day. Hey, it's your Birthdays this week, Monday, Judah Erickson, Tuesday, Addison Sloboda. Happy birthday to those we are going to miss over break. Wednesday, Emily Crane, Friday, Jace Feldman. And I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name. Hooray! Where did they take the Mayflower when it was sick? The nearest dock. <laughs> Important announcements for this week. Dare for fifth grade is on Monday. Reading club and drama club will be canceled on Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we don't have school because it's Thanksgiving break. And most importantly of all, my birthday will be on Monday. Happy, Happy Thanksgiving! Thanksgiving. Bad things have been happening in our school. And it all has to do with TikTok. TikTok has bad influence on everybody. People on TikTok create horrible challenges. They encourage you to steal or hurt someone. There are so many bad TikTok challenges. Those challenges do not belong in our school. We need everyone to stop the challenges. You're on our side and say no to TikTok challenges. It's okay, because you can do the good challenges instead. Try doing something kind and help someone in need. Your kindness will be rewarded. We hope you stop the challenges like DV Slick and do good challenges. How would you like it if I went inside of your house, stole your Xbox, PS4, PS5, anything that you like and is important to you and uh, flushed it down your toilet or anywhere and I just destroyed it. That's what's happening inside of our school and it's costing a lot of money. Well, Tigers, we hope you learn to not trust TikTok and do some good in the world. Have a good day, day tigers, tigers, and stay calm! Let's work together and stop the challenges. Do some good. Later, Tigers! Did you know the first Thanksgiving took place in 1621? Wow! You'll need plenty of produce to fill this big food horn, sweet potatoes, pumpkins, and gourds, apples, squash, and some corn. All through November, your tabletop I adore. Who am I? A cornucopia. This week's Native American spotlight is Ben Nighthorse Campbell. He was an American politician. He was elected to the U.S. House of Representatives from Colorado in 1987. Then he was a U.S. Republican senator from Colorado from 1993 to 2005. He is also a Northern Cheyenne chief. It was the day before Thanksgiving and all throughout the trees. The fall leaves were spinning a lot in the breeze. Eight children had boarded their school bus with grins in hopes that a field trip would begin. They sang as they rode through autumn terrains with visions of drumsticks danced in their brains. Over the river, 
and through the woods, their school bus sailed on through new fallen leaves. When out on the road there rose such a clatter, they threw down their windows to see what's the matter. What, when, what, with their wondering eyes shall they see? But a miniature farm. And eight tiny turkey. And a little old man so lively and rugged. They knew in a moment it was Farmer McNugget. He was dressed all in denim from his head to his toe. With a pitch of polyester and a dash of Velcro. And then, in a twinkling, they heard in the straw the prancing and pawing of each little claw. More rapid than chickens, his girls they came. He whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Ollie, now Stanley, now Larry and Moe, on Wally, on Beaver, on Shep and Gracho. The turkeys were chunky, all smiley beaked faces, and they greeted the children with downy braces. So out through the barnyard they ran and they flew, and they gobbled and giggled, as friends sometimes do. And somebody spotted an axe by the door. And she asked Farmer, Farmer Nugget what it was for. With a blink of his eye and a twist of his head, the old farmer pulled a great tail of dirt. Tonight, said Mac Nugget, these feathery beasts will be chopped up and roasted for Thanksgiving feast. The t- children stood still as tears filled their eyes. And then they clamored aloud in a chorus of cries. Oh dear, cried Mac Nugget. Now what shall I do? So he dashed to the well, and the teacher went too. And they fetched some fresh water from the ground in hopes that a swig might calm everyone down. And when they turned to quiet the matter, the children were calmer and mysteriously fatter. The boys and girls drank up their drinks in the hay. Then they thanked old Mac Nugget and waddled away. They limped to the school bus, all huffing and puffing. It's not easy to walk with hot turkey stuffing. And then as the school bus drove off in the night, Mac Nugget looked around. No turkey in sight. Twas the night before Thanksgiving. And the stars shone above. Shone down on the school bus. Abounding with love. The very next evening, eight families were blessed. With eight fluffy Thanksgiving turkeys. As guests. They feasted on veggies with jelly and toast. And everyone was thankful. The turkeys were most.
on a parade day every Thanksgiving since 1924? Oh. Oh.
going to two Thanksgiving in about the same exact time, so I get to go to my dad's side and my mom's side. What are you going to be doing over Thanksgiving? I'm going to be spending time with family. Thank you. Black Friday, so I like to sleep in, so Black Friday is not something that I've done a whole lot of, but what I do like to do is stay up late, so I jump online and try to get all the Black Friday deals from my couch. Thanksgiving, I have a son who's 27 and he loves to cook, and so he and his wife are going to fix our Thanksgiving meal, and I'm going to head over to his house for Thanksgiving. Thank you. What are you doing on Black Friday, and what are you going to be doing over Thanksgiving? Um, I always make the pies for the family, so I'll be making a pumpkin and pecan pie with homemade like crust and everything. So that's my job, and then my parents and I usually go down to Branson on Black Friday. We go like at 3 a.m. when there's a lot of people there, and we usually shop then, and then we're done by the time everyone gets out. And is up. So that's what I do. Thank you.